course the exploration that's mm. something good that can help us in the long run but yeah. really like i see it as like we're gonna dump earth and we're gonna go over there peace <laughs> to to create a new, a place, new place to live right. because we need to spread we have so many people mm. we need to spread around this new place but is that a good thing hmm i don't know Hey everyone, welcome to another Alien Invasion episode! Oh no. We're the host, my name is MJ. My name is Adam. Ooh. Today everyone, we are going to be talking about Mars. <laughs> Alright, thanks for joining us in this episode. It's Friday, hopefully you're having a good time. Hopefully you're staying on that Ego Everyday Challenge. Hashtag it, check it out on SNS. We're challenging everyone to post something uh, English related to help you stay motivated and engaged with your English learning so you can get better. All right. Yeah. This is a special challenge just for all of you. Hey, hey, join it. Be a part of it. Make sure to follow us on the SNS platforms and whatnot. Like the video also if you have the time. <laughs> hey, subscribe if you'd like. If you like us even more, you could subscribe and become a member up on YouTube. And support me and Adam. It'd be awesome. Yeah. Today, everyone, we're going to be talking about Mars. Who knows when Who knows? we're going to this red planet, this dust ball to of live. red planet <laughs> to live because guess what? We are in the future. We are. <laughs> Do you know that? Today is the future. Exactly. Because when we were kids, we were watching videos mm. like Total Recall where they <laughs> went to Mars because they terraformed and that's where it's like the vacation spot or it was actually, no, it was like a working port. A working port? port? Yeah, to yeah. get money. Energy or yeah, money and stuff. Yeah. But nowadays, it's kind of becoming a reality. There's yeah. been more and more companies, private companies, who are setting their eyes on this red planet mm. because it's the next place that we could possibly go because it's the closest one uh, to possibly terraform, which mm. means build a society, a place where humans can thrive and live in the near future because we're not taking care of the earth too well. No, <laughs> no, well, we can make a new earth. <laughs> we just got to clean it up a little bit. Maybe. Sweep the dust. So this has been talked about a lot mm. recently. Adam, I know you have seen a lot of information about like rockets flying yeah. from what? Like a lot of rich people in America. Yes. Who yes. have been jumping on this let's go into space, space program. Space expedition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few different companies yeah. have been trying to promote their uh, space travel for not just astronauts, but for regular people. Yes, yes, And yes. two companies in particular. One mm -hmm. is SpaceX. Elon which you, Musk. you heard about probably a lot more than normal. Te Tesla cars. Tesla cars. Yep. Elon Musk working with NASA. He made rockets that before rockets used to be sent into space. They and would come down. Garbage. Garbage. Like, like oh, $3 million worth of, not even million, three million. Now. So many lot more. amount of money. non choem Putting to, <laughs> yeah, non choem <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. non choem <laughs> Uh, but so much money putting into space exploration. And once they've used the material to get up there and come back, a lot of it has become garbage because you can't use it anymore. Yeah. This a lot of wasteful stuff. Brilliant scientist slash engineer slash entrepreneur. entrepreneur person who is the head of CEO of Tesla cars made a rocket that can go up into space and then come back down, guide itself and land back and be reused for multiple flights. But these rockets, yeah. so the, the original ones were kind of slim and they, they got yep, yep. the space uh, ships into space. Right, into orbit and into everything. Into orbit yep, and yep. everything. And they've gotten bigger. They've gotten to look a little bit more futuristic. Mm. A lot of these new technologies, like the Starship that uh, is also being created by SpaceX, are being, I feel, and it seems to be the drive and the goal is to bring passengers into outer space and land on possibly Mars mm -hmm. and start building societies up in outer space. Okay. Well that is that's sounds... like the, the the long term goal. Okay, okay. Like the gist the of gist it. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means like the simplified the simplified version. What are we gonna do? We're gonna take you to Mars. Right. That's it. We don't say that. We start off like we're going to take you into outer space. Yeah. 
Once that's safe enough, we're going to take you to the moon. Yeah. Once that's safe enough, you, we're going to take you to the moon. And then from the moon, we're going to take you to Mars. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, which is, 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 is good for the expansion of human evolution. And maybe it's the next step, as they call it. Yep. But it seems like more and more effort is being put into discovering new planets and the possibility for life on other planets. And last month, uh, NASA also landed a rover on Mars, right, and is able to bring back samples from Mars to test out whether or not we can live on Mars, whether or not Mars can support life. Ooh, which is of course the That's, next step, you know, right, right, it's right. the reality. Now that whole thing like took a really long time. It does. I think but, like it was like three years ago that they sent that rover out. It five, five. I think five He's years. Out. Ago. We're so happy. We got you into space. And then we got to wait five years until this thing gets there. All right, sweet. What do we do now? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, they're very busy. <laughs> Let's watch. <laughs> but just, yeah, think about yeah. that. Five, five years, years just to get this drone up there. Mm. Just to test. Just to be like, just for a can test. Can we put this in our beakers? Can we get some dust? <laughs> To look at the yours. rover goes out and is like, wow. <laughs> we just set a Roomba up yeah. there. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> Vacuum up some How dust. How do I get back? We bring it back. We sample, we sample it. We check it. it out. There's been a lot of information that's been gathered. And there's a lot of pretty good theories mm. about what kind of environment Mars would be. Right. And we watched a video about what it would take mm. to actually start living on Mars. And it looked like a very very hard road oh yeah when they say rome wasn't built in a day yeah mars will not be built in a day or two or two <laughs> it will take hundreds and maybe thousands of days yes yeah. so that is something that you know we're all excited about right you know okay we can go to mars and stuff mm. let's go throw our garbage up there maybe right <laughs> hey don't do that <laughs> uh but it's gonna be way in the future and it's yeah. gonna be something difficult that us normal citizens mm -hmm. of the world are pretty much not going to know anything about for a really long time. Yes. So it's like, how excited am I supposed to get about this? I see that. You I know? see your point, right? It's like, cool, we're going like, sweet, yeah. But not in this lifetime. But at the same time, yeah. why don't we take care of our Earth right now? <laughs> this beautiful <laughs> blue pearl that we have. Yes. So we don't have to go over to the red planet mm. and change it because it's a really harsh place to live right, right now yeah it's like there's a lot of things that we could maybe spend the money to fix here i feel you know you're not far off you i know? think i think for sure of course the exploration that's mm. something good that can help us in the long run but yeah. really like i see it as like we're gonna dump earth and we're gonna go over there peace <laughs> to to create a new, a place, new place to live right. because we need to spread we have so many people mm. we need to spread around this new place but is that a good thing hmm i don't know i'm on the fence about it not because it's like is that a good thing yes or no but more of of course man's desire discover human's right. desire yep, yep. to, to explore. Just explore the unknown yep find the answer to unsolved questions and many scientists many people who want to understand scientific theory and uh, theories about how the universe was created yep they all look into the universe and think that mars has some of the answers Ooh. um so being able to live on mars would give us closer meanings to our existence i guess is one of the things but it's a theory it's a theory on the other hand now, like MJ said, yeah, all this money that's being put into the research can go to help a lot of people. Yeah. However, I think if like these companies that are creating consumer level trips, okay, is going to drive the progress further because anytime you add a customer to something, yeah, doesn't matter what it is, the technology is going to get better and faster at a higher rate mm -hmm. because there's probably more money being pumped into it. Okay. And it's going to increase faster as well. Think mm -hmm. about yep, the yep. internet. Okay. Or right? like smartphones. Or smartphones. Or yeah. computers. Or okay. cars. Like technology, yeah, yeah. All of that is technology. And all of that has been improved once people started picking it up. Mm. Like, oh, wow. People actually like cars. Right. Soon it'll be like, oh, wow. People actually want to go to outer space. Yeah, yeah. But think about, like, again, like the whole difficult mm. The roads, yeah. That are going to be really hard before it's good. 
and Go safe. Like this, because right. you think about like cars back in the day. Like, <laughs> they didn't have seatbelts. Airbags. There's no top. Glass. Open. Windshield. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no power steering. No, no it's brakes. <laughs> like it was no such ignition system. Hard, yeah, you had a crank in the front. <laughs> it started again. Yeah. My arms are tired. <laughs> Think about all the bad admissions coming yeah. out of that thing. It was it's a danger, but it's changed little by little. Little by little. Um, like you were saying, like for when consumers get involved and a lot of change happens and more quickly yeah so i think that is a thing but mm. still like it's not going to be like in the fairy tales right. of sci-fi movies yeah where it's like cool i just go to sleep and then i wake up on the oh, other my side supersonic like, hypersonic jets no no there's so much so much work that needs to be so many variables in their preparation yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, let's even like link the video that we were talking mm. about down below so everyone can watch it. It's really cool, yeah. all uh, animated, so you can really understand it a little better. But there's so many things like the ground is poison, like there's not enough gravity, so we have to make our own gravity right. or else our bones and muscles will wither away. There's no atmosphere, so there's no, no way sunlight. To keep, yeah, no sunlight. Because uh, we got to put window, no windows anywhere. Right. Like it seems like a really tough time. And even just for those first. Mm however many like years. 10 years yeah. or more of the first groups of people going like even after that it's probably not going to improve that quickly mm. like what we think about when we right. think like oh sci-fi yeah we just go up there and then just go, start digging honky dory <laughs> like cool we can make roads and stuff like yeah no materials and all that stuff have to be transported but hey it's cool to talk about i mean yeah <laughs> why not <laughs> It's interesting. It's it's something that is probably not going to happen in our lifetime. Yeah. And if it does, it'll still be basic. A really basic. Yeah. Really yeah. basic. Yeah. Like people are going up with tents and fire starting kits and stuff. Like <laughs> yeah. You're going camping or something. Yeah. Going camping. Super bare. Very bare essentials. Bones. Yeah. Okay, everyone. That's it for this episode. <laughs> Let us know what you think about traveling to Mars, yeah. this topic. And uh, do you think we need to go? Do you think we should put this money in some other place to, mm. to help us where we are right now? Or do you think we should explore? Hey, why not? Leave us a comment down below. Tell us what you think like the video subscribe to the channel join our membership if you can down there it's that little join button right next to the subscription if you're on a computer um we got cool stuff in there it really helps me and adam if you'd sign up so thank you for those who do and thank yeah. you for those who are thinking about it also don't forget about the ego everyday challenge yes we are having on sns on instagram on tiktok twitter wherever it is wherever it may be Post your English every day for April and let us know when you post it. We challenge you. We challenge you also. You can check us out on those channels as well. That's it. We'll see you on, on the, the next, next step. step.